how to transfer files from desktop to Google Drive. Hello and welcome to our channel, WebWiz. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to transfer files from desktop to Google Drive. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So in transferring a files from desktop to your Google Drive, you have the two options. The first option is to download an application of Google Drive for your desktop, while the second option is to use the googledrive.com website in order to transfer files from desktop to Google Drive. So let's start first by doing the second option. So just enter on your browser drive.google.com and just log in your Google account and from here you will see on the left side panel the other options such as new, priority, my drive, shared with me, recent, starred, trash, and storage option in which each option you can navigate has its own characteristic or features, such as by clicking the plus button or new, you can either create or upload a files or create folder in this Google Drive. While under the priority option, you will see your files that has been prioritized, or in other words, the files that you always open or the folder that you always navigate. While under the My Drive option, from here, you will see the suggested files that you just previously opened, and below that are the list of files that you are the owner or the only one that has access to edit or view a folder or a files. And aside from that, if you click the plus new button, it will show you some of the options such as to add or create new folder, to upload file, folder upload, upload a Google Docs, a Google Shares, Google Slides, Google Forms, and any other platform that's supported by this drive. And let's say you want to upload a file. And to do that, kind of click this File Upload option, in which upon clicking on it, it will show you the list of files that you can upload from your computer. And to do that, just select the specific files that you want to upload and proceed by clicking the Open button. And after that, it will automatically appear in your My Drive category. And aside from those options, you can also see and navigate on the left side panel the Shared With Me option or category in which it will show you some of the files that has been shared with you, which means you're not the owner or the only one that have access to view or edit a specific files. Well, by clicking the Recent option, it will show you the recent files or folder that you just navigate. While under the Start option, it will show you the list of files and folders that you just set a start in order to prioritize or distinct it from your other files. While by clicking the trash option, it will reveal the list of files that has been deleted in which you can also recover those files if you want to. While under the storage option, it will show you the size amount of a file such as in gigabyte that you can fit in in this Google Drive. And you can also see here that almost 7 gig we already accumulated or use from this storage. And those 7 gig are the compilation size amount of those files that we have in this Google Drive. And now that we know how to upload or transfer files from desktop in this Google Drive website, which is by simply clicking the plus new button and selecting the files from our computer, we can easily transfer files from computer to this Google Drive. Now let's move on on the other option of transferring files from your desktop to this Google Drive. And to do that, just click on the new tab and enter google.com slash google drive slash download. And you will be directed in here, in which it says here that you can safely store your files and access them from any device by using the Google Drive app. And from here, in order to download the Google Drive for your desktop, just click this button that says download drive for desktop in which upon clicking on it, it will start to download the application. And while waiting to download this application, you can see on this platform or website the advantage of having a Google Drive application on your desktop, in which it says here that using Google Drive, you can choose folders on your computer to sync with Google Drive or backup to Google Photos and all access of all your content directly for your PC or MacBook. And you can also see on the top panel of this platform or website the other options such as individuals, teams, enterprise, and download option. And by clicking on those options, you can navigate and discover about some details 
of this Google Drive. And after successfully downloading the application, it will ask you to install Google Drive, in which it will give you the two options, such as to add an application shortcuts to your desktop and to add desktop shortcuts to Google Docs, Sheets, and Slides. And kindly check these boxes if you prefer to do that. And proceed by clicking the Install button, in which upon clicking on it, it will show you this one. And from here, all you need to do is to wait for it to fully install. And after it has been successfully installed, assume that it will automatically open by itself. And from here, the next thing that you need to do is to sign in with your browser. Or alternatively, sign in with your Google account. And by clicking this button that says sign in with browser, you will be directed in here. And all you need to do is to choose your Google account. So just double tap on your account and proceed by clicking the sign in button. And upon clicking on it, it will show you that you have now successfully signed in in your Google Drive. And after we download the Google Drive and sign in with our account, the next thing that we need to do is to open our media files in our computer and explore if the Google Drive has no part of its option. So just click your file explorer and from here you will see your cloud option and the other category and files on the left side panel, such as your desktop, your downloads, documents, picture, music, video and the list of files and you will also see this pc in the networks category and by clicking this pc category it will show you if the google drive has now been added on your drive option and in this category it shows that you have the local disk and the google drive devices and drives which means that we have now successfully synced our google drive in our computer files and to check if our google drive is actually synced we can start the process by transferring our computer files from this Google Drive. In this, all you need to do is to drag any files and put it inside of this Google Drive option. And after dragging the files inside this Google Drive option, you can now find a copy of these files to your Google Drive disk. And in order to check if the files that you just input to this drive has now been successfully copied, you can do that by opening your browser and enter drive.google.com and after that just sign in your google account and from here you will be able to see some of the list of files under your google drive and in those files kindly check or find the files that you just transfer from your desktop to your google drive and you can explore the priority my drive and share with me category in order to find that specific files and if you find that files that means that you have now successfully transfer your computer files from desktop to your Google Drive. In which it is important to transfer files to Google Drive in which it offers several benefits including data backup and recovery, access anywhere, anytime with Google Drive, collaboration and file sharing, and also file organization and searchability. So that is just how to transfer files from desktop to Google Drive. Thank you.